Welcome back to another episode of ACT Live. I am Jack Boomsma. And I am Elia Hartford. And uh, thank you for joining us for another episode. Um, so the football season, the volleyball season have come to an end, sadly, but uh, mm-hmm. looking forward to next year for the younger kids and so long for us. But uh, I think we'll send it to Riley first with uh, the elementary kids. I'm Riley Flea with ACT Live. I'm here with Addie. What grade are you? Fourth. What's your favorite subject right now? Math. What do you like to do at recess? Um, play with my friends and play ball tight. And what are you looking forward to the rest of the year? Um, to learn about dividing. Sounds like fun. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm Riley Flea with HGTV Live and I'm here with Abby. What grade are you in? Second. What's your favorite thing to do at recess? Um, play with Flea. Uh, what are you looking forward to this year? And what is your favorite subject? Math. Okay, thank you. I'm Riley Flew with HGTV Live and I'm here with Chandler. What grade are you in? First grade. What's your favorite thing to do at recess? Um, play tag. What are you looking forward to this year? Um, uh, don't know. What's your favorite subject in school? Um, math. Okay, thank you. Back to you. Thank you, Riley, for those interviews. And now we'll send it to Jacob for the weather. Hey, it's the weather, man. Uh, for our seven-day forecast this week in Hitchcock, uh, we got for Friday is a high of 60, a low of 39. Saturday is a high of 61, low of 36. Sunday is a high of 57, low of 35. Uh, Monday, we got a high of 56. And a low of 38, and then we got Tuesday is a high of 54, low of 31. Wednesday, high of 48, low of 27. And Thursday is a high of 43 and a low of 22. For Tulane this week, uh, we got for Friday, high of 60, low of 39. Saturday, high of 61, low of 36. Uh, Sunday, we got a high of 57 and a low of 35. And uh, Monday, we got high of 56, low of 38. Tuesday, we got a high of 54, low of 31. And then Wednesday, we got a high of 48 and a low of 27. And Thursday is a high of 43 and a low of 22. Back to you. Thank you for that weather, uh, Jacob. And now uh, I think we're going to send off a little, send you to a little tribute for the football boys and talk about sports with Zach. So uh, to you, Zach. And now I'm here with, you, with uh, sports recap. So both the football and, and the volleyball seasons ended uh, in the past week, sadly. Uh, for the football team, uh, they played Potter County last Thursday for the second round of playoffs. Started out good, but kind of went downhill. But uh, the ending score for that one was 8-48. to And Potter County will go on to play Falkton tomorrow night at 7 in Falkton. And for the volleyball girls, they tra- traveled to Castlewood this, this Tuesday, last Tuesday. Uh, they ended up losing that one in three sets. So uh, good season to both teams and uh, better luck next year. Thank you. I'm here with Andy Brooker. Uh, Andy, uh, what's, what's, what are you gonna miss most from football? You know, I'm probably gonna miss uh, just showing up to practice every day working with all these people on the team. They're all, all great people. Uh, have a bond with all of them. It's a great sport to play, and I'm going to miss uh, being out there on the field, making plays, and having fun. All right. Uh, is, is there anything you want to say to the younger class, class classes? Uh, just work hard, put the effort in. It feels good to win the first playoff game that our school has won in a long time. And uh, just put the work in, and it pays off in the end. Uh, so yeah. All right, thank you. I'm here with Elliot Har- Harford. Uh, what is uh, what are you gonna miss the most about football? Um, I think I'm gonna miss uh, the locker. Room. You know, pregame locker room. Uh, listen to a lot of music. Yeah, it's just it's something that pumps you up. It's pretty exciting. Yeah, I get what you mean. Um, what is something you would like to say to the younger classes in football? Don't be afraid to hit anyone. Okay. 
we're, we're, we're wearing pants, don't be afraid. Um, just have fun, right? Don't, don't let it go away. It goes by really, really fast. All right, thank you. Now I'm here with Jack Boomsma. Jack, what is the one thing you're gonna miss the most? Uh, just being on the, out on the field with all my brothers and stuff, and like you, out there making plays, having a good time, just you know, living life, living high school, and uh, yeah. All right. Anything you'd like to say to the younger kids? Uh, put the work in. I mean, we we had hadn't had a winning season our entire high school career, and then this summer, Mr. Salmon really turned it around for us and made us work for it. And it got us this far, so maybe the younger generation can uh, do what we couldn't do. And also, uh, don't be afraid to hit anybody, and uh, it hurts less if you hit them first. All right, thank you. I'm here with Caden Bottom. Uh, Caden, what are you going to miss the most about football? Uh, I'm going to miss the uh, fun practices and uh, fun I've had with uh, my fellow teammates. All right. Um, is there anything you would like to say to the underclassmen? Uh, weightlifting helps. It doesn't look like it, but it helps. Thank you, Kate. Now I'm here with Zach Gilbert. Zach, what's something you're going to miss about football? Uh, I think I'm going to miss those pregame meals on the Thursday nights every week. Uh, the parents put a lot of work into them, and I just really love food. So it and I it just really gets my mind ready for the the uh, fri those Friday nights and uh, yeah so um, any advice for the younger kids um I guess uh, I just want to say like it goes by so fast like it might not seem like it but, but like after your last game you look back and you're like oh shoot I sh I wish I would have done this I wish I would have done that but just uh, I guess uh, just play with, don't play with any uh, regrets, you know, like, so work hard at everything you do and you'll all be happy in the end, so. Thank you. I'm here with Jed Waldner. Uh, Jed, what are you going to miss the most about football? Uh, I'm probably going to miss uh, all the fun times we had at practice and uh, just working together and all the meals that are prepared by the mothers and stuff and uh, just all the fun times that we had. It's going to miss that. All right. Uh, do you have any advice for the underclassmen? Uh, goes by real fast. So I mean, it's a fun game. So work hard at it and just give your full effort and just have fun while you do it. It sure does. Thanks, Jed. I'm here with Kyle Hamilton. Kyle, what are you gonna miss the most about football? Definitely our locker room pump up songs, singing the T Swift. That looks fun. I'm gonna miss those too. Uh, uh, any advice for the underclassmen? Uh, I say always work hard and appreciate the time you have playing this sport and other things while in high school. All right. Well, thank you, Kyle. Thank you, Zach, for those uh, interview with the senior boys. Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be weird not, it, for us, especially like not in the summertime, not having to lift every day and all that stuff, but yeah, it's good and bad, I suppose. Yeah, it definitely went by fast, and it, it was a lot of fun, so anyway. But you got birthdays, don't you? Yeah, I got birthdays, so as always, I'd like to wish a happy birthday to a couple of people. Uh, Bresley Binger, uh, Briar Close, uh, Asher uh, Brown. <laughs> Abram, sorry, but uh, Jay Lee Gilbert and uh, and Evan Kleinshauser. So happy birthday, guys! And now I got uh, your upcoming events. So November fifth at uh, eight twenty-five at the preschool is screenings and uh, ten a.m. enhancement and. Uh, there's semi-final football tonight, which is Potter County versus Falkton, and uh, Avon versus Del Rapids St. Mary's. So that would be a couple good games tonight. The winners of those will be playing each other at the Dome next weekend. Uh, November 6th, 9 a.m. is elementary girls basketball at JVC, and then the boys are at 10. Uh, November 8th is SDSU reps coming to high school for the juniors and seniors. 
Uh, and then 6 p.m. and 7 p.m. is elementary girls and boys basketball at JVC. Um, November 9th is the Sodak 16 for volleyball. November 11th is Veterans Day. And then the football championships. So, yeah. Good. As always, we want to thank you for tuning in to HTV Live. I am Ron Burgundy. And I am Brad Fantano. Stay classy, Hitchcock Tuller.